Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce two exceptional champions for our children who embody the passion and commitment of Ambassador David M. Walters, who founded the Nicholas Jones Hospital Foundation. After the loss of his granddaughter, Ambassador Walters vowed no child should ever have to leave South Florida to receive world-class health care. Tonight, please help me welcome our inductees into the Ambassador David M. Walters International Pediatric Hall of Fame, Vivian and Juan Carlos Moss. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for this incredible, incredible honor. To see the list of past honorees further emphasize how humbled we feel tonight. We did not build theme parks and entertainment enterprises like Walt Disney. We didn't come up with the vaccine to cure polio as Dr. Jonas saw. We have not won any of golf's major championships or the countless honors that Jack and Barbara and Nicholas have received for their charitable work. What we did do is feel the pain and suffering that so many who walked through the doors of a children's hospital experience. We felt the anxiety and helplessness of handing over our newborn child to a perfect stranger. Ambassador David Walters felt that same pain and anxiety as he brought his, brought his granddaughter, Shannon Joy Walters, during the Christmas holiday to the then Variety Children's Hospital. Unfortunately, he found an underfunded, well-intentioned hospital that could not provide the life-saving care that Shannon Joy required. Out of his pain came a resolute pledge to upgrade the quality of care that is available in Miami. Sebastian was a beneficiary of the ambassador's commitment, and Vivian and I pledged that we would be stewards of his mission and do everything in our power to make sure that every parent that walks through our doors will have the best care possible. We took our pain and anxiety and converted it into a lifelong commitment to passionately support this noble cause. As you saw in the video, we were introduced to the hospital when Sebastian was born. We arrived at the hospital, a young couple engulfed in emotions and uncertainty. We had many days and weeks of difficult news, multiple procedures with uncertain outcomes. The only certainty was that not only was Sebastian in great hands and receiving great care, but so was our family. People don't realize that at a children's hospital, we're not only dealing with the child, but we're dealing with the whole family. I deeply believe that this focus on family is one of the greatest attributes of Nicholas Children's. Not only did the cleaning staff ask about Sebastian on a daily basis, but they would join us in prayer. The compassion of the nurses was, was amazing as they also worried about us as they were caring for Sebastian. They would constantly remind us to get some sleep and spend some time with our other child at home. The physicians had patient explanations of everything that was going on. They compassionately tried to answer questions that had no good answers. As we worried about tomorrow, they reminded us to take it one day at a time. Vivian and I made our commitment to the hospital and went on to chair the first Diamond Ball. Vivian organized countless fashion shows and community events for the foundation. I spent the past 25 years humbly serving on the board and various committees of the hospital. We will never miss an opportunity to sing the praises of this institution 
to highlight the fabulous people who work daily on behalf of our children, and to thank every one of you who contribute to the work that they do. I'd like to thank Vivian and my sons for supporting this work in spite of missing many family dinners and planned outings. It is incredible that after thousands of hours of volunteer work, what I thought was a selfless act is one of the most rewarding things I've done in my life. To believe that through your time and efforts, you have potentially played a role in impacting even one of the millions of patient visits that we've had is just incredibly gratifying. I'd like to also thank a few individuals who have dedicated countless hours and enormous efforts to positively impact so many lives. Gary Gregory, Alex Soto, Jer Jared Davis, Joe Nader, and Mario Mugato, thank you for your extraordinary commitment to this institution. <laughs> Nicholas Children's is not about a concrete and glass structure or its geographic location. Nicholas Children's is about the heart and soul of its caregivers, the talent and compassion that they provide to every family at their greatest time of need. Please help us support and embrace every individual who chooses to dedicate their lives to the care of our children and families so that our future generations can live in a society where they are valued and cared for. Thank you so much for your support tonight. Thank you for this enormous honor. And please continue to help this noble cause. You <laughs> I'm just incredibly honored to be able to slide in on this phenomenal man's coattails because the honor is truly all his. He, he's our backbone and he's missed a lot of things, but when you need him, he's there. And he pledged long ago to be committed to helping children and helping other parents not have to go through what we went through. And I couldn't have done it without him. And I just am eternally grateful that God put him in my life and happy to ride his coattails. Thank you. Thank you again.